What's up guys, David Wynn again and I, I just came across this sign and I wanted to make sure I documented this. Uh, I am here again at Unity Church of Tustin and for those of you local in the Orange County area, you want to come by this beautiful spiritual ground, uh, there is an address right there, 14402 South Prospect Street on, uh, it's in the city of Tustin. So then again, 14402 South Prospect Street uh, in the city of Tustin. And for those of you in Orange County, I really invite you to come out here and just, just enjoy this beautiful sacred ground because um, I believe um, you get lots of value from here. As you can see, um, the trees are very beautiful, they're very tall, and it's just nature here, guys. And you know, if you see most of my videos are in nature, yeah, one. I want to get away from uh, my parents' place, um, and two, the main reason is when I'm outdoor, like I always say, uh, I'm just in this, this space. I create the space for myself where I just create, and ideas just come my way. And one thing is, <laughs> okay, again, uh, yes, I did get a haircut today, and you guys are probably saying, damn, David gets better looking every day. In fact, I look at myself in the mirror every day, and I say, damn, I get better looking every day. So thank you for that. Um, anyways, I was saying, oh, here you go. If you see there right here, um, it says, I'll just read it to you. Uh, I'm, I'm walking towards uh, the meditation grounds and it says, these meditation gardens contain various types of water, uh, excuse me, of water features. And it's really a beautiful place just to come and you know, just observe, breathe in deeply, the fresh air, and just, just, just be one with nature. You know, this, it's very silent here. Um, you know, you just hear the sounds of the birds chipping, um, the wind blowing, and just come here and be one. And I believe this is actually the, the meditation ground, or part of it. Here, it says, um, Walking the labyrinth is a meditation practice representing, representative of making a pilgrimage, a journey to a holy place, and is a means for spiritual transformation. Wow, that is powerful. So I guess I'm going to come out a more transformed being after I come out of these gates. So I am now entering sacred grounds of meditation here, guys. And I don't really know exactly what these rocks represent. Um, I just know that um, this is a place. You see this big rock right here? I'm going to sit there and record myself. <laughs> this is just a place just to be and um, just come and just really clear your mind um, if that's what you choose to do. Um, and really, ever since I've been taking on this 90-day challenge, I'm sure you guys saw, like, on my day 8 uh, video, I manifested $27,681.41 to be exact. And, you know, ever since I really put out the focus and put it out to the universe and declared it out that it was going to happen, it, it happened. So, I really encourage and invite you to do your own 90-day challenge, whatever it may be. Uh, you may have some health challenges, some financial challenges, personal challenges, whatever it may be. I invite you to consider the possibility to just do the 90 day challenge and just really put it out there to the universe because um, I believe what we're creating here, this community base, um, connecting with one another um, through technology and really understanding that everybody has a story and a challenge to go through, then that's where people get lots of value from it. And I want you to get that. And, you know, just, just make a simple video, upload it on YouTube or any one of those other uh, video sharing websites. And who knows? Your story has a value to it. Your challenge is going to be an inspiration for another person to take on a challenge. And, you know, like attracts light. And I want to share with you a beautiful quote that just came to me now, um, which is a quote by Helen Keller. And most of you know Helen Keller as a deaf mute. 
and I believe she was blind too. Um, and she really said something that was very powerful that I heard a while back and now it's coming to me. Um, she said, if my candle is lit and yours isn't, you take your candle and light it from mine. It doesn't take anything from my candle and it makes the world for brighter. Let me say that one more time because it's very powerful and I want you to get this is if your candle is lit and mine isn't you take your candle and light it from mine it doesn't take anything from my candle and it makes the world forth forth brighter your candle was lit your candle was lit with a story you have a story to tell you have challenges to overcome you have what other people are seeking for do it do it now and I really invite you to consider that possibility and I'm going to end with this thought is um, there's a great commercial ad by Nike um, and it says do it like nobody's watching do it like the money doesn't matter do it like there's no tomorrow just do it thank you so much for letting me be the man David Wynn who impacts your life to really do it now this is David Wynn, guys, on day nine, Cinco de Mayo, here at Unity Church of Tustin, and really inspiring you to take action. Until next time, have an awesome day, and peace for now.